Welcome back everyone to another video. Today I am going to be like fantasy booking the Wrestlemania 40 main events for night one and night two. So I'm just going to start out with the Royal Rumble. I'm going to predict that we have Roman Reigns defending against Randy Orton. I believe that is going to be the match, I believe Randy Orton is going to beat AJ Styles and LA Knight on SmackDown, and I believe that he is taking the loss in this match to Roman Reigns. I do not believe he is going to be taking the title off of Roman Reigns. Now, I do not know what is going to uh, be planned for all this, because, you know, last night, or I guess the night before, on Monday night, when you saw The Rock, I'm going to need to get a better Rock figure, but The Rock returned to WWE and called out Roman Reigns. So I'm going to say that is going to be the night two main event for WrestleMania. And I'll explain everything. So far, I'm just going to say my night two main event is that. And my night one main event is Seth Rollins defending the world title against CM Punk. Now, I, I'm i going to guess what you're wondering. Where does Cody fit in all this? And the thing is, he doesn't. He does not finish his story at WrestleMania 40. I say he finishes the story at WrestleMania 41. Now, I know that puts a whole nother year into Roman's reign, but just hear me out. CM Punk is going to beat Seth Rollins. And I believe that CM Punk can carry the company with a world title reign for a year while Roman is doing his thing. I believe CM Punk can carry the company. And he can have matches against the likes of AJ Styles, uh, Kevin Owens... Uh, Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, Finn Balor. He can have classics with the, all of those guys on pay-per-view. I'll uh, pick this up real quick. So like I said, CM Punk can carry the company having matches with these big stars that he's never actually wrestled before. So every one of these matches could possibly be a dream match for the WWE. Now, like I said, Cody is not in a world title match for this pay-per-view. So I was thinking that Cody Rhodes could have a match uh, against the returning Andrade. Because, you know, as we just saw on Andrade's social media, he announced that he is not returning to AEW. So we could have Cody Rhodes versus Andrade in Andrade's return. At WrestleMania 40, that would be a big deal for Andrade. And even if Andrade takes the loss in his return, that would still be a big deal for Andrade. And even then, like, Cody doesn't need the win. Not yet. He would start needing wins about January or December of next year. Or I guess this year at this point. 2024. When the road to WrestleMania begins. So we could have Andrade versus Cody somewhere on the card for WrestleMania. And Cody Rhodes finishes the story at WrestleMania 41. Now, if you, like I said, CM Punk can carry the company. And this is big for Roman as well, because in September, if he's still the champion, he beats Hulk Hogan's reign as the champion. Now that is huge, huge. Because Hulk Hogan was one of the biggest stars of all time. And that really shows that Roman Reigns is one of the biggest stars of all time. By beating Hulk Hogan's title reign length or whatever. Having the, I think it's the either the second or third, I think it's the third longest title reign in history. And so... Obviously, The Rock is defeated. The Rock doesn't need a championship reign in 2024. 
And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm fantasy booking Roman Reigns versus The Rock to headline the show, obviously, in the main event, WrestleMania 40, Night 2, and Seth Rollins versus CM Punk to main event, WrestleMania Night 1. Now, I'm also saying that CM Punk would win the Royal Rumble match, because The Rock most definitely should not win that. And, uh, yeah, it's just a short little video of what I think should happen. Uh, let me know what you think should happen in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, might as well hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.